Okay, the next task for me is going to be to start rubbing these ceilings down with my Mercaleros, the big sand on the pole. I'll show you it in a minute so you know exactly which one it is. Um, I've got the rest of the filler in there now this morning so that can go off while I'm about to work on the ceiling. Um, and yeah, I've run through some things with you about how to do that um, and how we did the final fill yesterday. And, because it wasn't a full skim, we've only just touched in little areas from the sand down that we needed to. So, as you can see, I've got my brewer's hat on. This is the wholesalers that I use. Obviously, there are a lot of others around. Um, but a little bit of a bit, 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 <laughs> little bit of advertisement for you there, brewers. Like I said, other wholesalers are available. So if you can see these little bits in the ceiling where they're still a little bit proud, they're just a little bit of, of spot filling that I've done just to get us to where we need to be to lose where all these tapes were. I've done the same everywhere even on the bit of the, the wall the ceiling comes down onto so it's not a full re-skim over all the tape, it's literally just filling in the imperfections. So the sander I was on about, which is this one, it's the Mercaleros Leros with the extraction hose, just giving me a lot more ease getting up there and, and getting this ceiling rubbed back uh, for our next phase. Right, I've got one last little bit up here in the coving that I'm going to rub down. <coughs> I went round everywhere else and rubbed it back. It's all starting to take shape now. After this last little bit of rubbing down on the coving, I'm actually ready to get painting, which has taken phew, at least a week, at least five days of, of solid prep um, in this one room, which is, you know, what you've got to expect if you're taking on a, a project of this size and of this age. So that's the last bit I have to rub down now on this coving area. You can barely see the other lines of the cracks that were in coving that are now filled. Um, they went back really well. So I've been using one of the pads off the Deros and I'm just folding it in half so I can work with it. I mean, these pads, once they were used to rub down the walls, um, they're not coarse enough to, to do the job on there, but I can certainly reuse these for something like a fine fill up here. So I'm just going to push it into the shape of the coving. And if you haven't got any of these pads and you're just doing all this by hand, then obviously sandpaper is the next best thing. Now I've got that shape, so I've just folded the pad again. I don't know if you would have seen that. I was busy watching what I was doing. So just working it in like this and then folded and then doing the shape. Come in Pauline. Sorry. Don't worry. 